name is Brad Segabarth. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here with Ortho Carolina. I enjoy the whole breadth of, of spine surgery, but I do particularly enjoy the more complex cases like deformity or uh, cervical or even trauma. There's so many more challenges today with, with having to keep up with uh, records and documentation. You still have time to, to really do what you need to do with the patient. And Lindsay has been great with uh, uh, in that aspect because she's the uh, typical multitasker uh, that, that can do everything that I can't. I like working with Dr. Sayworth a lot. He's very easy to get along with. He's very approachable, which is good for being a doctor. But he also is a very good teacher. He always asks me questions. That way I can challenge myself to learn more. One thing that's great about our, our group and our section of spine surgeons is that we, we do share cases, and, and that's very helpful and, and helps us all kind of learn and really provide the best care. So Marcus Martin is the, he's the reason, this kind of case is the reason why I, people go into medicine is just to kind of see a, you know, an impact that you can have on someone's life. And Mark Smartin was, was really an amazing story. I had been thrown out the window of the passenger side. The truck had flipped over completely and was still running. And my right arm was up under the right rear wheel, which is the power wheel on a small Tacoma Toyota truck. And it was trying to run. And he had a severe injury to his neck, both knees and and wrist and dislocation of his neck that required some immediate uh, realignment. And he had some uh, injury to his spinal cord and actually bruised that, that had caused some weakness. One of the policemen on the site knew my, uh, lived behind my parents. And uh, he knew some friends and my brother and of course family and called and said, uh, get to the hospital, uh, this is not good. Don't expect to see Marcus alive. He fought through it, and we stabilized him that night, and started making uh, some early recovery. But he had so many other things and challenges in the hospital uh, that he was in the ICU for over a week before we could finish the surgery. A year later, he walks back in with a Hawaiian shirt on and uh, and has you know given us high fives. And so he's just been a you know, a great story. I think often times patients can be intimidated with having a spine condition or, or something that's affecting their spine or even thinking of the, the or even the thought of spine surgery and uh, I think a lot of those fears are alleviated if, if we're able to kind of talk it through I think that's important for them to know that just we would treat them like we would our family member and, and we have their best interest in mind.